Um, there's a, a woman, I believe, somewhere where I was sitting, who, it, it's that lady right there, who stood up and said um, that she gets excited when she's here in the solidarity we all feel, but when she's home, she's all alone. She, when she's back there, she's just one person. Well, every one of us, even if we live in a, you know, a, the world capital of Marxism, like Boston. Um, you know, we all feel alone. We all, every one of us feels alone. I can't tell you how many times, uh, even the past 15, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, I've just been ready to give up and, you know, go write something, go write a novel, you know, and make some money, or, you know, romantic, salacious novel. <laughs> And the one thing that always brings me back, I'll tell you, it's not, I mean, partly it's being with the kids going back in the classroom, but I mean intellectually, is this absolutely precious, marvelous gift that arrives in the mail from Milwaukee every so often. And that's the to Helen, Stan, um, Bob, Barbara, and the great Bill Bigelow, who's mm -hmm. up there in Portland, I guess, today. Um, I just am eternally grateful. If it weren't for this kind of networking and the seeds of hope they plant, you know, I, I think I would have gone into organic farming. <laughs>